Before we could take off and start sailing Gone with the Wind, there were several critical projects to complete first, most of which started months ago at the Coral Bay Marina. We purchased this used main sail right before we left the Pahokee Marina. Although we sailed from Biscayne Bay to Key Largo with it, we never put the battens in while sailing. While we weren't impressed with the size or shape when we were sailing, we still wanted to inspect the sail and install the battens before we started sailing around. So that didn't work out at all. The battens don't quite fit. We're not sure what's going on and we're missing a piece. Hmm. So that kind of stinks. Um, it's pretty hot out right now. So since we're defeated, I think we're just going to go swimming instead. <laughs> so what's going to be the solution for our sail dilemma? Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go with new sails. I don't want to waste any more time or money trying to find some used sails that aren't going to fit properly anyways. Um, so I did do some research and I requested some quotes from some local sailmakers and some not quite so local sailmakers and I think we've made a decision here. <laughs> We're gonna go with Precision Sails. Um, they're out of Canada. They really kind of con concentrate on the cruising sailboats I feel like more so than just the racing sailboats which is a lot of sailmakers kind of bread and butter. So. We've chosen them and we're going to get this process started. It's going to take a little while. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm really nervous. But it's supposed to be a smooth process and they've got it all figured out. So you get to go on a new journey with us. Today begins one of our big projects. We're going to start the demolition of the old compression post, which I think you can probably see bowing just a little bit there and we're going to prop it up like we did last time so that we can remove the wooden post. Sean is having an aluminum post fabricated for us and we're gonna replace it with something permanent and sturdier. Let me know when it's getting closer, baby. It's getting closer. Okay, thank you. okay you're getting real close. Then like an inch or two. Last time we had to do a lot of shimming and, and all that, but this time I got a lot closer on the measurements. So that's pretty stiff. My next move is I'm gonna rig up the jack. I'm gonna loosen the rigging and I'm gonna jack this up a little bit and then we're gonna put our second brace and that should take a lot of tension off of the post. our compression post. They've been booted from the cabin so we can do repairs. Clean through the bottom. Hold on, let me. How are you gonna get it out? Very carefully. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That was good. That wasn't too much of a mess. Lowering it just a little to put some tension back onto the holes. <laughs> You're getting ready? About to go play in fiberglass world. Do I look safe to you? I was thinking scary, but sure, safe works too. Yeah. See our old post chopped. The rest of it lying on the dock. And we'll be replacing it. It's a portion of the new aluminum post. It's gonna go in its place. Before he puts the welds here, 
just want to make sure that there's room. Okay. Let's do it. And it fits. What? The 4x3 inch hole in the keel is the recessed footing for the original compression post to sit in. Sean built a block out of marine plywood that will fill in the hole and also serve as a base to bolt the lower portion of our new compression post to the keel. The block is laminated and secured to the keel using West Systems epoxy resin. Finding a fabricator for small jobs in the Keys wasn't easy to do until we found Pressy at Florida Keys Aluminum in Key Largo. He's an experienced fabricator with quality workmanship, an affordable rate, and pretty welds. Dropping off the pole. And there we go. Our freshly powder coated post. Yay! That looks nice. Well, this is epoxy, thickens, so this will, yeah, this will waterproof it, give it strength, make it fully awesome. loosen up the rigging a little bit more. We're going to jack the ceiling up just a little bit to give us some clearance so that we can do the base first and we'll set this pole up and then we'll deal with mounting it on the top afterwards. Lift it so you can put the base where you need. Okay. We're loose. Hello, pole! <laughs> Before the install, we pre ran the mass to lighting wires inside the aluminum post. So Sean would have easy access to splice the wires from the mast back to their control switches. Replacing your compression post is a daunting task that we have now completed twice. This time with a strong and permanent solution. Let's see if he's going to get out of my way. Move it. You're between me and my boat. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, where'd you go? Go on, he's gone just like that. Yes, it is. Hey, it's Ron for Precision Sales. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, doing well. Getting some work done on the boat, so that's always a good thing. Nice. So what are you guys thinking for sales? Well, you got to do a main, right? We definitely got to do a main. Red sales, right? Yes. Um, we've decided to go ahead and keep the Hank on system on it because we do yeah. already, you know, deal with weather helm a lot, and it's pretty difficult for us. Um, we don't want to increase that difficulty at all. Yeah. So I would say let's go with the 115 for the head sail and. Something that's possible but not very popular um, is putting a reef point in a head sail. Okay. So we could we could do the 115 and then put a reef in it so that if she's really blowing, you guys could reef it. We could reef, reef it down, down in the front. Okay. After a lengthy conversation and several emails later, we are pleased to announce our partnership with Precision Sales. Gone with the Wind is a 1972 Gulf Star 36, um, and she still has her original external track. Uh, so we want to replace that. We're going to update that with a new strong track. We just got that in today, so we're really excited. In that box, there was this little car. And this car, um, one, we need to make sure, yeah, that we have the right size. So that's fit, so that's good. Um, we're going to attach this to the main halyard, and we're going to hoist it all the way up. And that way, we can actually make sure that our track is nice and smooth and that we're not going to come into any issues when we install the new strong track. So, seems pretty simple. Let's get this going. 
don't know if we're going to get the get the angle we're looking for. So we're going to have to take the boom down. No, we're going to have to move the boom out of the way. <laughs> you're moving it out of yeah. the way. Huh. As usual, nothing wants to go as planned. It definitely can't go too easy. So it looks like we're going to have to take the boom off in order to install the strong track. One more new thing to do. You got the boom or whatever? Okay. Yeah. Ready? I got it. There you go. Okay. Alright. Now we are boomless. There we go. Man, this thing is in the way. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Barely. It's barely cleared that piece. There we go. Alright, it'll be time to snip. Okay, hold on, hold on, let me snip. Let's get past that one. Okay. Alright. That's the last of it. Let's see how close we are, because they do give you extra track usually. Right, let's up to that top. Keep going. Ours is dead on. What? What? That. I could love that because awesome. I don't feel like doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yay. So normally you would actually probably have to measure a little bit and um, pull this back down so that you can remove from the top because it's a little bit extra. They usually give you extra, but yeah, and since this is a special molding, you can't cut this. You have to cut from the top. Yeah, this piece here, you can't cut from the bottom because of the, the casting in there and the design. issue is the self-tapping screws that they provided us with from um, Tides Marine are not going through our external track very easily. Um, I don't think anybody else really had any issues with that on any of the videos you can find on YouTube because they all have internal tracks. So I'm not sure if this is something that's just specific to our external track, but we got to figure something else out or else we're not going to be able to secure the track to the, ma uh, to the mast. Yeah. So I'm just trying to burr out the stainless. So although it's Sunday, West Marine was open. All right. So I got some high dollar hardware, but at least we got it. Okay. So far so good. Yeah, we got bite in there. There are a total of two screws securing the track in place. The strong track is nice and installed it's secured i'm gonna go ahead and put in the last little piece the little stopper this is what stops your sail from sliding down I'm out of place oh. Boom. hey we have a strong track that was easy <laughs> that was so easy okay now let's put our boom back on oh, okay yeah that's right let's do the boom so just a little FYI, a little side note for you. You might've noticed that there's also an external track here on our boom. 
took me a lot of research to find out that this is actually an obsolete piece. They don't do this anymore. They quit doing it a long time ago. Um, when you attach your sail all the way down to the boom here, it actually affects the shape in a negative way and you don't get as much lift as you should. process of examining what's going on with the boom and the mast, we came to realize that our boom is not configured appropriately. So before we can even take any measurements, we now have to reconfigure this. Um, this should be, this boom stay should be attached actually to this piece here. You can see there's two of them. One of them is supposed to be going up and then that frees this up so that this can go forward and we can attach a mainsail to it. So. Uh, it's always like one step forward, two steps back. So I guess we're wetting that up so it'll be easier to remove those nasty old shackles and uh, correctly install this boom stay. We're going to loosen this so we can get some action on this. And then I'm going to take these down. I'm going to support the boom with the halyard to raise the main. I'll just rig it up right here. I'm gonna hide out the sun. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, well, that's good. Hopefully this other one comes off this gnarly sucker. <laughs> We gotta take this guy down so we can separate those. Piece here. It's like pulling teeth. Oh. <laughs> they use pliers, it looks crazy. Thanks for watching Big Easy Sailing. If you've made it this far, please go ahead and give us a like. Your support helps our channel grow. And if you'd like to give us some extra support, consider becoming a crew member on Patreon. Speaking of crew members, we want to give a huge shout out to the Big Easy Sailing crew. Your continued support keeps these videos rolling. A special thanks goes out to our new partner, Precision Sales. We're excited to share our experience getting new sails made for Gone with the Wind. If you'd like to keep current with our adventures, check out our Instagram and Facebook pages. Don't miss out on our next video as we finish up some critical projects and complete the process of ordering new sales. Thanks, y'all. I knew you were going to bite off that. You're so gross. <laughs> <laughs>